leading the nation in school communications. Award-winning D93 News starts now. Hello and welcome to D93 News presented by Idaho Farm Bureau. Listen to the ground, there is movement all around. There's something going down and I can feel it. Me too, Sam. Me too. I think the whole district has <laughs> night fever right now. We'll have more from the undefeated Hillcrest football team and their quest for another state championship a little later in our show, but let's talk about our amazing child nutrition team. They continue to hone their skills and we caught up with them during a recent training exercise at Black Canyon. So this is the difference in how it looks. Our child nutrition team so takes steamer, pride in what they do. A lot of our team has been here for 15 plus years. We really have crafted what we're doing. We're super proud of the food we're serving. We um, actually got some feedback from our students over National School Lunch Week, where we could see like what areas can we improve in. But, but really the, the bottom line is our staff is here because they love what they do. We want to feed kids, but, but we want to give them the best we can. And this team is taking full advantage of the D93 collaboration calendar to really hone their skills. So on our Mondays when um, the, the elementary kids aren't here, we're doing workshops to uh, bring better, different, new, improved culinary skills to our staff. We learned a lot of things at our national conference when we went to Denver this year. And uh, we have staff on, on um, we have employees on, on our staff that have the skills to teach us. And so you'll see there's kitchen managers, uh, we have chef, we have, you know, everybody. We just want to improve and do the best quality food we can. With in-house experts sharing their expertise, there are winners all around. Who are the real winners in all of this? Our kids. Our kids, yep. But our staff also, you know, it's our careers. And so learning those skills, mastering our craft, I mean, it's win-win. But definitely our students. Amazing stuff from our child nutrition team, as always. Yeah, I love that they're doing that. Let's talk about our Rusty Taco Road Trip this week with the undefeated Hillcrest Knights. It will be a battle of the Knights as Hillcrest and Bishop Kelly meet up in the state championship game again. Now, these two teams met up in 2018 with Hillcrest breaking its own state scoring record en route to a 55-21 victory. There are some similarities between 2018 and 2023. What are those? Yeah, so Hillcrest had five wins in 2017 before exploding to 12 wins in 2018. Well, last year, the Knights had five wins before picking up their 12th win this season by beating Skyline for the second time this season. Here's another similarity. Hillcrest had to go to Boise for the state championship in 2018, despite being the top seed. And that's the case again this year. The state rotates the host sites around to give teams from other parts of, a, of the state a chance to play close to home. Because let's be real, if it was based off of ratings, they would all be played in Eastern Idaho each year. We'll get you ready for kickoff with the Idaho Farm Bureau pregame show. Watch for that Friday night from Albertson Stadium at Boise State University. It's going to be so exciting on the blue turf. <laughs> it's going to be metal. And now time for our Ermac Health Minute presented by Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center. Human exposure to hot water can be a significant risk uh, at 140 degrees temperature it only takes three seconds to develop a significant burn. Uh, as children are younger, as infants, submersion or a bathtub is one of the biggest risks. That water needs to be checked and made sure that it's not too hot for that child, noting that their skin is more sensitive than an adult. If, if a baby's skin is red, then usually that water is too hot. The, the adult should check that water, particularly on the back of the wrist, and that is probably the, one of the thin areas of our skin that gives us an appropriate gauge of what that temperature actually is. As we get older, one of the biggest risk factors is a scald injury from ramen noodles or from uh, other hot material that comes particularly from a microwave. As that child pulls that material out of the microwave, they look at it and it spills on their skin. And that is the number one scald injury with pediatric patients. With any uh, scald injury, what can help alleviate some of the pain is a cool wash rag that is clean. However, if we have significant blistering of that skin, they do need to be seen by a medical professional. And typically those will also be transferred to a burn center. Here at Ermac, we have facilities and ability to help that child through the, that difficult burn and that pain that can be associated with that. Some good information there as always. Uh, next week, 
Thanksgiving week, no school. No school. Yeah. And um, we're excited for a break, I think. Yeah, <laughs> recharge kind of the a, batteries. Yeah. That is so important with mental health mm-hmm. and everybody. They just need to have a break from the humdrum of everyday stuff. And so it's nice. And then just to get together with family and, of course, have good food. It's just have fun, enjoy each other's company, and uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving break. But for now, (laughs) that's going to do it for us. We'll see you guys back here the last week of November, I guess. Yeah. I was thinking it was December, but we still have a ways. But it's not going to be too much longer until we are at Christmas time, which is crazy. Right here. We will see you after Thanksgiving.